Hi guys, it's Tamás and today I am going to show you how to set up Next.js with React Bootstrap but more importantly we will make sure that routing works correctly. So why do I do this? I do this because I spent some time to figure out how to achieve it correctly and it wasn't absolutely straightforward. Hopefully this will save you some time. If you are using straight vanilla React Adding a UI framework like Material UI and Design or the one that we're going to use today, React Bootstrap, to your project is usually a question of an NPM or a Yarn installation. However, it gets a little more complicated when we are talking about Next.js integration. It's not that complex though, make sure to follow the steps I'm going to show you in the next couple of minutes. Alright, so let's get started. Uh, we are going to install the required software first, Next.js. So let's do an npx create next app my awesome app. Let's get it installed. It's going to take some time, so I'll fast forward. All right, so that's done. Let's cd to my awesome app directory then. Let's install React Bootstrap. And the installation steps are presented here. npm install React Bootstrap Bootstrap. Make sure we save it. All right, let's fast forward again. All right, the basic setup is done. Now, how do we bring in or connect React Bootstrap to our Next.js project? If we read the uh, Next.js documentation, the CSS section, more specifically the um, importing CSS, SAS, and so on files, we can see that we are directed to some other installable modules. We are going to use um, Next CSS to bind bootstrap a uh, react bootstrap to our uh, awesome next project so let's just quickly read the installation material here let's grab the npm install command copy paste execute and once this is done we are going to do the um, module configuration within next now let's expand our project folder and in the root of our project let's create a new file as instructed here next config.js let's create the file and uh, copy the configuration as instructed save the file and for that part we are done Let's move on and do some more config. Usually we have a layout component that wraps all other components, but for now I'll just go with the nav component provided by the default create next app installation to demonstrate how to import the required bootstrap CSS and make sure that a custom React bootstrap navbar navigation works. I just realized that our next JS, uh, next config.js file is at the wrong place. I created it uh, outside of my project folder. So what I'm going to do is just simply move it back to the root of my project. Otherwise, it's not going to work. We are going to create now our own React Bootstrap based navigation bar. So let's move and delete everything from nav.js. And um, let's create a simple functional component and populate that functional component with some sample um, navigation bar markup from the React Bootstrap. Let's go to documentation, choose components, and go pick navbar. Let's go with the first one. Copy paste 
put it within our functional component, format it a little bit. And it's a pity that the imports are not listed here on the um, uh, React Bootstrap documentation, but I prepared it. Let me just copy paste the required inputs, uh, imports. Let's do an npm run dev. Let's see what we can get in our browser. We say localhost 3000, right? So we can see the navigation here. It's not beautifully styled. And the reason is uh, that we are missing the CSS import. Um, I missed that step, so let's do it now. Here it is, grab it and bring in the uh, React Bootstrap CSS. So now when it recompiles, and we look at this, and we have a beautiful React Bootstrap based navigation bar here. In order to demonstrate what the problem, what the fundamental issue is with the React Bootstrap based navigation, I am just going to create a uh, simple dummy page so I just go and navigate under pages, create a new file, dummy.jsx. This is going to be a simple functional component. And um, yeah, we don't need that. Next.js provides that with um, the, re uh, the React import. So, but I'm going to need the import from the navbar. So let's do that quick. We bring it in from components, nav, come on, right, let's add it here, and let's just add that h1, dummy, okay, let's see if it works, so when I, if I move to dummy, let's load the dummy, yeah, all right, dummy page works, we've got the navigation par, uh, bar and we've got um, the h1. So let's try to hook it up with uh, the navigation bar link. So here in the nav.js, let's rename this link to dummy. And let's use the reference the href to dummy, right? This is how I would do it. So let's reload. Let's go back to the main page. See, this is pointing to dummy. Click it. No, it's reloading. You see, there's a problem. It's grabbing the content from the server. Look at the reload uh, icon here. So that's not what we want. We want React-based routing. We don't want to reload the page. So what do we do? So the solution is, bring in the next link, import next link, and just wrap our dummy page link with the next link. Let's do that. Link. And link. Let's remove the href from the nav link and add it to our next link. All right? So this is what would be the second attempt to fix our navigation. Let's save it. Let's reload. Look at this. It's still. Oh, it's not pointing anywhere, you see? I can click it, so it's not pointing. So what do we do? What's the solution? The solution is to add the property pass href. Let's reload. Now it's pointing to dummy. And I click it. It doesn't reload the page, but it routes to the dummy page. Yes, and the back button also works. So this is how you actually get 
navigation work properly with React Bootstrap and Next.js. Don't forget, let me show you again, after a little bit of formatting, what you need to do is spring in the link component as you would normally do for navigation, wrap your nav link with your next link, make sure to um, use the href and populate uh, wherever you want to move to, and then most importantly, use the pass ref attribute. So that's it. Hope you find it useful. If so, give me a thumbs up and please follow my channel. Thanks a lot and cheers.